This is Brandon Lee with BetFirms.com here with your 2012 Oregon football predictions. Oregon has been the cream of the crop in the Pac-12 in three seasons under Chip Kelly. They have gone 34-6 during the stretch and have claimed three conference titles. Last season, Kelly led the Ducks to a 12-2 record, which included a 49-31 win over UCLA in the inaugural Pac-12 title game and a 45-38 victory over Wisconsin in the Rose Bowl. Oregon dodged a bullet when Kelly turned down an opportunity to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers job this offseason. As long as he is in Eugene, the Ducks will be a perennial powerhouse. Replacing quarterback Darren Thomas is the first order of business for an offense that led the Pac-12 in scoring and total yards with 46.1 points and 522.8 yards per game. Oregon likes what it has in both sophomores Brian Bennett and redshirt freshman Marcus Mariota. Last season, Bennett completed 54.3% of his passes for 369 yards and six touchdowns with no interceptions, while leading the Ducks to a pair of wins while Thomas was out with a knee injury, but Mariota outshined him in the spring game. A line that returns three starters and Jake Fisher, who received significant playing time as a freshman, should be solid. And, despite the loss of LaMichael James, the running back stable is in good hands with Ken John Barner and DeAnthony Thomas. Barner averaged better than six yards per carry in 2011 while rushing for 939 yards and 11 touchdowns. Thomas, who will line up all over the field, is the team's top returning receiver. He caught 46 passes for 605 yards and 9 scores. He also rushed for 595 yards and 7 touchdowns. The receiving corps is talented but fairly unproven. Junior Joss Huff, who caught 31 passes for 430 yards and a pair of scores, leads the unit. The Ducks ranked 5th in the Pac-12 in both total and scoring defense last season with 390.1 yards and 24.6 points allowed per game. Those numbers were plenty good enough considering how explosive the offense was. The defense may have to do a little bit more of the heavy lifting this year, but should be up to the challenge. Defensive line is deep. Juniors Taylor Hart and Wade Kalipi anchor the unit. Hybrid in linebacker Deion Jordan, who had seven and a half sacks in his junior season, is one of the best pass rushers in the conference. A pair of starters were lost from linebacker corps, but don't expect any drop in production from this group, which is led by seniors Michael Cray and Kiki Alonzo. Senior Josh Boyette, one of the premier free safeties in the country, anchors the secondary. He had 108 tackles last season. Now for my Pac-12 prediction. I have the Ducks picked to finish first in the North Division. Oregon's schedule is very favorable early on. It doesn't play a true road game until October 18th and only has four true road games on the schedule. Of those, a November 3rd showdown at USC figures to be the most difficult. The soft early slate will help the new quarterback gain confidence, which he will need if the Ducks hope to avenge last year's loss to the Trojans. Oregon should win each of its first four home conference contests against the likes of Arizona, Washington, Colorado, and Stanford, which means it should have an opportunity to play for a fourth straight conference championship.